I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media. Thank you for joining us today. Q Battery Metals, a mineral exploration company focused on exploration and development of battery, base, and precious metals, has contracted for magnetic surveying on its Lacorn South Lithium Project in Quebec. The company's Lacorn South Lithium Project, located north of Val d'Or, covers 10 kilometers of the Lacorn Batholith. At least 14 lithium projects are associated with the margins of the Lacorn Batholith within 20 kilometers kilometers of the company's Lacorn South project, including Siona Mining's North American Lithium Mine, a joint venture with Piedmont Lithium, which is just 11 kilometers northwest of Q Battery's Lacorn South project. The North American Lithium Project is a historic lithium mine with a proven and probable mineral reserve estimated at 29.2 million tons, grading 0.96% lithium oxide, containing 280,000 300 tons of lithium oxide. Geophysique TMC will complete 347 line kilometers of drone supported magnetic surveying over the whole of the project claims. The new magnetics data will be merged with survey data from the two areas of the project completed in 2021 to provide homogeneous magnetic response for the whole property. The magnetic data will be modeled to provide both magnetically high and low trends. Magnetic highs on the property, which have been shown to be related to massive sulfide bands that contain pyrotite, will be further tested during the 2023 season. Magnetic lows will be analyzed for potential pegmatitic bodies associated with lithium mineralization, as lithium pegmatites are known to express anomalously low magnetic susceptibility readings. The Boily Barube mineral showing has been described as pegmatitic veins hosting molybdenite and bismuthinite. The showing is located within a zone of relatively high magnetics that may be masking the pegmatitic material and will require further analysis to obtain the necessary detail. Q Battery Metals is also planning resistivity ground surveys as another tool for mapping pegmatite as well as massive sulfide bodies. Rock sampling from 2021 testing for VMS potential and not targeting rocks that might better return lithium results reported elevated lithium as high as 468 parts per million. One kilometer north of the Boily Barube showing in 2004, Falcon Bridge Noranda Incorporated completed diamond drill hole FIE-01 where core sampling returned up to 333 parts per million lithium over 1.5 meters at a depth of 186 meters. Lithium was not the targeted element during these previous exploration programs and most historic drill holes did not analyze core for lithium. The company owns 100% of additional mineral claims within Quebec and British Columbia, where the company is targeting critical and precious metals, including the Pegalith Project, located approximately 25 kilometers north of Gatineau, Quebec. It covers 636 hectares or 1,571 acres of strong geological and mineralogical indicators for lithium potential, where pegmatites were previously small-scale mined for industrial minerals. The company also owns 100% interest in the Lorraine Nickel Copper PGE project and the Mackenzie East Gold project, both located near Val d'Or, Quebec. The shares are trading at five cents. For more information, please visit the company's website, qmetalscorp.com, or contact Richard Penn, CEO, at 778-384-8923. I'm Cassandra Belinsky for Investment Pitch Media.